Hello and welcome to the new reaction video. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to react to the new American Horror Stories episode. Before I start this reaction, I want to tell you that it is possible to get early access uh, to my reactions and you can also see them on cut. So my full reaction to the episode. If you want that, you can check out the link in the description to my Patreon. You can select different tiers there and in that way you can get early access or uncut content. So check that out if you're interested. This is the seventh episode already, I think. Again, I tried not to look up too much about it. So I honestly have no idea at all what it's gonna be about. I do wanna get back to last ep the last episode though. Um, apparently it was based on the Twilight Zone. To be fair, I never saw that. I think that was like right before my time. But that was a cool detail I found out. Also, last week I wasn't com completely sure what to think of the episode because I was like... I feel like it's good, but it's also fucked up. So I'm not sure if I enjoy the episode. So I'm not sure if I still think it's that good then. But on the other hand, they had me thinking for a while. Like a few days after I was like, fuck, that episode was fucked. So I feel like they did a good job. So I think it was... To be fair, if you compare it to the rest, one of the stronger episodes. But I still feel it had a lot of plot holes. So, I mean, like I'm saying every week, it was a decent episode. But it could have been way better. So yeah, now I'm going to react to the new one. I'm very curious. Um, yeah, let's just start. Okay. It's already starting kind of creepy and dark. A year before I was born. Okay. Oh, there's a child. Oh, that is kind of fucked. Oh, imagine that being your job. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. Is she just showing up there now to be proud of her work? <laughs> oh, the cat. I mean, you don't pay me nearly enough, but um, lucky I do it for the love of the game. How? I don't get it. That deserves a raise. Keep your head in the game, Sam. You got a bright future here. Thank you. Nothing! I don't understand how you? you'd be like, awesome, right? fuck yeah, I want I'm to fine. do this as a job. When she I said Jesse, I was hoping for her to have a girlfriend, no, but no, sadly. I've got people depending on me. Why don't you go take a nice hot bath? Lavender oil, I got you. The Maldehyde smells really something. See you later, babe. Okay. Ooh, this is so different. Especially the beginning, the music was different. So, yeah, I guess well, it's about that people. Like Jesse asked you, point blank. Either the job's gotta go. Or I do. Which would you pick? Uh, the guy has to go. Choose for your uh -oh. career, girl, if you like this. You hesitated. Poor Jesse. No, no, it's just I really love my job. And I'm good at it. And, uh... Oh, they're dead. <laughs> These friends of her so are not secret. very supportive. Like, yeah, I think it's weird too. But if this is what <sighs> she I'm likes like and so feels so good, then... Okay, beyond that, I, I help people. Yeah, like they said in Haunting of Hill House, you can make this really horrible day for people a little better by doing this. Oh my god. Uh, well, hi, um, so what, what are you doing here? This is a restricted area. Just over there. Um, just over there. Why do I already feel like they're gonna get together? Because he gets her passion for the death. I really wonder what's going to happen though, because with the last episode you kind of had an idea where it was going because you knew that woman's face was just gonna be fucked up. But now I'm just completely in the dark. Maybe a buddy is gonna come to life or something. What's up with the, the suit, the hat, pimped out right? <laughs> Most, um, it do be kind of cool. Honor to be a part of someone's death journey. You know, in ancient Egypt, they spent up to 70 days on one body getting it ready for the afterlife. I didn't know that. Yeah, I thought so. Like, that was literally my first thought. She's gonna go home, have sex with her boyfriend, and then she's gonna think of that guy. 
I don't know how I so, I just felt like I'm trying. China woman buried herself alive with her dead husband so they could achieve immortality. It's a bit dramatic. That's true love. No, that's really dramatic. Oh, I'm awesome. Can't experience it. The way they're bonding so much yeah, over the dad. Stay on board in your whole obsession with death. I hope so. We're all dead. Hmm. Dad was telling this dumb joke. <laughs> in a way, it was a blessing. I saw how precious life is. Okay, but you don't need your whole family now, to die for that. We as the living owe it to the dead to take care of them. And to live boldly. Damn, that's kind of dark, though. Trauma is, uh... It's complicated. Fucks with your brain. I have to talk about my memory. Okay, so her family's dead, too? But right now, I am... Oh, I'm too. I think the guy kind of looks like the... No, uh, what was his name? Uh, Who plays sorry, the no, totally lead role in Vikings Valhalla? You wanted to, uh, tell me something. I'll tell you later. I feel like her relationship with the boyfriend is so toxic. I feel like he expects a lot from her <laughs> for no reason. Hi. What's going on? Yeah, I mean, something scary has to happen. It still is American Horror Stories. <laughs> Oh, this is a flashback? Yeah, this is- Oh, that was her! Yeah, okay, that makes sense. I totally forgot about the beginning. Oh, fucking hell. Just because she has trauma? Come on, you're not messed up because of that. Okay, to be fair, I think I kind of misjudged the boyfriend too early. He was trying. I'll be taking care of you today. OD 26. I'm scared to see what's under there. What the fuck? Is this a joke? What the hell? What's the catch? To be fair, I really hope the episode is going somewhere soon because at this point I'm like... It's getting kind of boring if something doesn't happen soon. Oh no, is she gonna have sex with him? Oh my god. Oh no, oh no. To be fair, I was already scared of that when, when she pulled up by the blanket and we saw it was him. But I was like, this is kind of a crazy thought, I'm not gonna express it. But I was right about that too, probably. What the fuck? scared me this is fucked i mean i know she has trauma but this is just sick like i didn't know that it was a thing if your family got murdered or you got any trauma in that way that you'd be obsessed with that <laughs> never really heard that before i'm not sure if that is an actual thing or if that is just for the show they made these two characters with the same backstory but So did she all imagine it or is this some kind of trick? Maybe a test? Sam. Oh, what the fuck? Fuck you. Sorry. Okay, so... Okay. Fuck was that, some sort of sick prank? No, it was never supposed to go that far. We're fucking breathing. You can find a pillow line for anything these days. 
Your chest was cut open. I saw your I was trying to help you. But then why did he do it? Okay, I, I guess... I mean, the girl has just a really weird obsession, but why did the guy even do that? Oh, she changed jobs. I feel like every time she has sex now, she's just thinking about dead bodies, and it's kind of disturbing me. Now you're this girl who likes pastels and afternoon tea. Where's my friend with the- Show them our story. It's one of my favorite. Sometimes it can be found in off-screen. Why do I feel like something weird is gonna happen? Show it open that video or something. Picture of her fucking a dead guy, yeah. Is that Sam? Is that a dead body? He's never gonna understand you, Sam. Look at what he's done. The guy is just fucking crazy. Yeah, but you thought I was dead. And I think that gave you permission. You really want to be with me. He's, he's delusional. There's a tape, Sam. Jesse, I'm sorry. What like, the fuck? What's wrong with me? What? You fucking filmed us? That is what it looks like to really be alive. That guy is this fucking is insane. I love you. I know you feel the same. I don't. I fucking Maybe in the beginning when he was actually a nice person and the boyfriend was boring as fuck, but now the boyfriend is actually trying and they want to get married and now you're being a total well, creep. Sprinkle a little famous. Oh shit. Sorry. Excuse me, one minute. Yeah. Mm. I feel like her face from a distance kind of looks like um, the actress who plays Renera in apologize. House of the Dragon. We can't have a sex offender going into our clients' homes. No, I'm, I'm not. Um, I mean, what this Now her fucking life is over. Yeah. That guy really fucking ruined her life. But still, I'm also like, it's kind of your own fault. Like, why would you fuck a dead body? I would just move out of this town right now. Oh shit. Maybe she's gonna kill him for real now? Ooh! Maybe bury him alive. Like the story. Maybe that was a foreshadowing. You took everything. You need to pay for what you've done. Sam, yeah, I'm sorry. This is not who you are. Honestly, they're just why. big what, fucking what people. I you were trapped. I was trying to set you free. I didn't want you. I never asked for it. I was fine. No, you weren't. I was so close to death. I tasted it. I had their blood on me. I felt so alive. I was waking up for the first time. I thought if I could give you that, it was only supposed to be for a few minutes. Oh, okay. You were crying. I have never felt that way before with anyone. You're psychotic. Tell me what I think or what I really want. That is so goddamn patronizing. She was dead for three days before they found you. Oh shit. For three days. You drank your dead mother's Shut stuff. the fuck up. You're disgusting. You're disgusting. And beautiful. And fucked up. All the to be fair, they are a perfect you. match. They're both fucking crazy. <laughs> Brush your hair, better cereal. <laughs> I'm so screwed up. I get you. I will never judge you. I really don't know what to think of this. Like, they're fucked up, but it's because of their trauma, and it's fucking sick what no, I see. is happening. But I think what I really want is to be dead and alive at the same time. There's no hope for me. Sam, I would die a million times to be with you for a minute, for a thousand years. I think they're actually gonna end up together. Forever. You're weird. We belong together. I agree on that though. <laughs> Are they gonna fuck in the grave? I think you're the only one. Oh 
Oh. Oh. Fuck. Oh my god. What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? What the fuck? Okay, so the story was indeed foreshadowing. <laughs> what the fuck did I just watch? Damn. <laughs> okay, to be fair, I think the episode was not too bad. Like, it's weird. I gotta say, sometimes the... Mostly the parts where she was talking to the guy were kind of boring like the end it took so long before finally something happened again i think they could have sped that up a bit i have mixed feelings about this again i think to be honest i think the characters are really interesting and i think that's the biggest reason i think the episode was kind of good i don't i think it's just really fucked up and that's why i'm like am i supposed to like this episode but i think what i mean mostly just the trauma they both have i think the trauma really makes the characters and the part that I think is really interesting is where they both behave in such a weird way actually and that this is all caused because of their trauma and then especially because you find out she has been with her dead mom for three days just brushing her hair drinking her milk and shit that is so fucked up that I'm like yeah what she said no wonder she's so fucked up I mean, that does something. I get that. Yeah, to be fair, apart from sometimes that the talks with the guy were really long. And sometimes I was like, okay, you could have made this a little shorter. Then it would have had a nice speed. And um, I think it would have been inter more interesting with that. To be fair, I think it also had kind of a good ending. As in, I feel like there was so much foreshadowing. And the foreshadowing all played out. And... It was an ending that I didn't expect, but at the same time totally didn't surprise me. In the end I thought, oh, they're just gonna get together. I mean, they're both fucking weird. I mean, you really found each other, to be honest. And then that happened, I was like... At first I was shocked, and then I was like... This actually makes sense, because they're basically in love with the dead. They're gonna have sex in a grave while they're dying. How fucked up that is. It makes sense in my head for this story. I think people are overall kind of positive about the episode. A lot of people are like, this is so fucked up and I hate it. And then other people are like, yeah, it's American Horror Stories. Fucked up things happen. That's the show. And that's what I'm trying to think about too at this point. I had that with last episode too. When I said it's so fucked up, I'm not sure if I like it. But then after I realized I am watching a show called American Horror Stories... They're supposed to be fucked up. I mean, this episode had me shocked, so I think they did a good job. I think, honestly, yeah, I think this episode was just one of the good ones, to be fair. So overall, I think I just have to think about it a bit because it was so fucked up. Also, the thing the guy did that was mostly fucked up because, I mean, she fucked a dead body. That's not okay. But then I'm thinking like, yeah, okay, it is her trauma that caused her to do this. Still not saying it's okay, but there is a reason she did it. And the guy, the fact that he... I mean, it's also his trauma now. At the beginning I was like, what the fuck would he even do that? But he explained it, he did it because he wanted her to feel the same as he did when his family died. To feel alive. Just an episode about two really fucked up people. But the thing is, the thing he did, like I said, that was not okay. Ruining her wedding like that, showing that video. I don't agree with that too at all. I mean, she never asked him for help. He just did that because he thought that was what best for her. That's not okay. But then in the end, she was like, you were actually right. And then, I don't know. It's weird because I'm also thinking like, if he hadn't done it, she would have probably lived a normal life with her boyfriend and she wouldn't have died. <laughs> Damn. The more I think about this episode, the, the more fucked it gets or the more weird it gets. Yeah, I, honestly, I don't think I have a lot more to say. I think I'm just gonna think about it for a bit. Like, what the fuck did I just watch? 
but overall i'm quite positive about this episode but yeah i think that was my reaction uh let me know what you thought of this episode um if you want to see my reaction uncut then check out my patreon the link is in the description did you like my reaction then please leave a like subscribe and then i really hope to see you next week bye